plants and pictures. Hello. To operate this orange machine, I just switch it on. The orange goes around and around, down the red chute, along the yellow chute, and the machine switches itself off. Let's do that again. On. Down and down. And off. Once more. On. And off. Off. On. What else can you see that starts with the same sound? under the sea. I'm thinking of an animal that has three hearts. It eats crabs. It can change colour. I'm thinking of an animal that has suckers. I'm thinking of an animal that has eight arms. What is it? What do you think it is? It's an octopus. Once. Yep, you can touch it. Very oh, soft lovely. skin. Oh, See his eyes. One there, look. <laughs> <laughs> Fill the suckers and they'll, they'll stick to your fingers. Oh, is that smooth right. at the moment? You touch the leg and it'll, it'll hold your hand almost. It's holding mine. Yep, is it sticking to you? Yeah. Very sticky, isn't it? He's not slimy, yeah, really, is he? No, he feels very no. soft, but he's not slimy. I thought he would feel slimy. You can actually tickle their arms when they stick to things. If you tickle the back of the arm, he'll let go. Quite ticklish, see? Oh, ticklish. I never yeah. knew animals could be ticklish. Oh, yeah. What's Baby. his name? We don't have a name for him, this one. Mm -hmm. We just know him as the octopus. How old is he? It's very difficult to tell their, their age, but he's round about two. That's young. Yep, that's young. It's quite old for an octopus. <laughs> when they're happy, they're very bright colours, like bright red and orange. And when they're sad, <laughs> they go very pale white. Not very pale at the moment, just no. kind of orangey. He's quite enjoying himself at the moment. Yes. What can it see? How can it see? It has very good eyesight, just like humans. It can see as well as us, or very nearly as well as us. Does anybody know what they eat? No. No? no. Crabs. Crabs, well done. Yeah. That's what they eat, crabs. That's their favourite food, crabs. How big does it grow to? This one's about fully grown, this, this type, but there are types for giant octopus, and they can grow very large, about twice my height. Oh, that is big. It's big, isn't it? An octopus has suckers for holding onto the rocks. 
They're also for holding on to food. Octopus have eight arms. If one falls off, another one will grow in its place. An octopus can see in colour. This is very rare for an animal. I like octopus because they change colour. I like octopus because they are a strange animal. I like them because they're gentle. I think they're very amazing creatures. I'm thinking of an animal that has two big eyes. A beak. It has feathers. It's awake at night. There. It's an owl. And here's the owl with her baby. Baby owls are called owlets. The owlet is very fluffy. It doesn't have proper feathers yet. The mother owl looks after her babies during the day. But at night, she has to leave them in the hollow tree to go in search of food. Today's story is about an owl and her three owlets. It's called Owl Babies. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mummy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. Oh, to get us our food, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old bit of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. It was dark in the wood, and they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice, and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch said Sarah, and they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mummy! They cried, and they flapped, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. Oh, and I knew it, said Percy. I love my 
time, Mummy, said Bill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eyes for three baby owls. Three baby owls with their mum. I'm thinking of another animal now. One you've seen before. This one lives in the sea. It has eight arms. It's an octopus. Octopus. Ostrich. Orange. An octopus on an ostrich on an orange. The octopus has fallen off the ostrich. But the ostrich is still on the orange. Ostrich. Orange. Both these words start with the same letter. Watch how Magic Pencil writes it. All the way round and flick. 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 There's something rather odd about this orange machine. It's no ordinary orange machine, as you'll see. Bye.